this solar cell. So first of all, I've already figured out that the two widths of a solar cell is about this long, which I would just cut another one. Soldered, pinned the little contact areas on the positive side of the cell. So now I'm just going to lay this across there about halfway. And it just comes to the end of the cell here. A little weight on the cell to hold it still. Thirty watt soldering iron, thirty watts, and it switches to fifteen watts when I want to cool it down a bit. The pencil lead, pencil tip lead. Got a small pair of pliers here to hold on to the tab, and I just. A little on the tip here, get it started. Solder on the tip helps it heat up better. Okay, I've melted the solder there. Which I had, like I said, I pinned these little spots earlier. Now I'll just go ahead, don't let the soldering iron get too cold, so let it heat up a bit. Make sure your tab is nice and straight. You can hold it down with your pliers here. the solder. Don't push too hard on the solar cell or it'll break. These are very delicate little guys. Give it a second to warm up again. This is 30 watts right now. And here we go again in the third little solder joint. Put a little more solder on the tip. This is 0.22 solder that I'm using. Thousand core solder. 0.022 diameter. I believe it is. You got it from Radio Shack way back, way, way, way back in the old days, and it's almost running out now. I'm not, almost gone. That's the last of it right there. The last of my solder, I gotta go get some more. Okay, so now I take this final little piece here. And solder it on. Put a tiny bit on the tip of my soldering iron to make sure it's gonna heat up good. I can hold this down with my finger. Just don't wanna burn myself. Bend the tab a tiny bit. I just pushed it over a bit. Do the middle piece here. Cool it down. Wait for the soldering iron to heat up. It's not hot enough. Might add a little more solder to the tip. Not 
the solder in. Okay, there it is. There's the back of that one. I just have to connect it to the other ones. So we get stuck somehow. And also, I previously put, I tinned the front of this. This is solder along here on the front that I put on myself. And then when I lay the lead on top of it, the tab, I mean, when I lay the tab on top of it, it'll have plenty of solder to attach to. Drag my panels in place here. I'm using the edge of this wood as a guide. on top of one of these to have it down. Solder and iron is pretty hot now. Put a little bit on the tip again just to get a little flux on there because there's flux in the middle of this solder. Alright, then lay it down. Don't push too hard. To tip, tip it like that, to give more surface area to the solder area, to the soldering point. You can see it liquefy when it's hot enough. Then slowly move it along, you can see it liquefying. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but it's definitely look fine. It makes a little sound too. A little squeaky sound, kind of. Now we do this one. Same thing. Maybe I should give it a second to warm up. Put a little more solder on the tip. Get some flux going on there. Starting to look fine. Trying to keep it lined up straight here. Keep the tab straight. This configuration is uh, kind of a long skinny one because uh, I happened to find some glass and some wood, both just found on the street. And uh, the glass is tempered glass, some glass shelves that someone discarded. And uh, this wood is solid wood, it's not plywood. And it was already painted. How much luckier can you get? So I, I gotta have two. 9 volt arrays here connected together to make 18 volts total in order to charge a battery pretty well. Okay, that's it. Turns out I found some glass in my travels. It's tempered glass, it's from some sh shelving, and it's uh, just the right size for this piece of wood. This wasn't planned at all, it just happened. So I call it very good luck. This must be because it's Christmas Eve today. Uh, 
don't know for sure. But anyway, the other thing that was lucky was that I found this weather stripping. I didn't even have to buy it. Vinyl foam weather strip with self stick tape, 3 eighths of an inch wide, 3 sixteenths inches thick, and it was just long enough to go around my little cell arrays with a little piece in the middle and one on each end is just the perfect right amount of weather seal. So there's another blessing, another lucky thing. So turns out this glass fits perfectly. Put the weather stripping on as you can see. solar panels. The weather stripping was just the right thickness so that I don't mash these very delicate eggshell like solar cells. There's some I've broken a few because I'm sort of clumsy and uh, so that's what happens. So on this end I drill the hole through the wood I'm going to hook up the uh, cable on that end. And so on this end, I have my negative and my positive terminals. And I was planning on getting a blocking diode, hooking it to the positive side here, right in between here and here. And then running the cable through this hole that I drilled. So, uh, and on the back I'll have a junction box, I guess, and I'll probably put some feet on the bottom of this wood to get it up off of the surface where I'll probably be mounting it on the roof somewhere. So I want to have a little space underneath it, so it's not laying the whole surface on the uh, roof. Okay, so I'm off to get the uh, diodes, and I'll need some uh, pieces of molding or something for the glass along both sides here. I need molding on this side and on the other side. To uh, lock this baby in. And then on the ends, I'll have to figure out an end piece here. Both ends. To seal it up, I'll put a piece of wood or something here. And some caulking or something. This is make it up as you go. No blueprints, no plans. It all started with this piece of wood. And as I said, I got lucky with the uh, glass and the weather stripping. And I managed not to break all the cells. So I had enough to do 18 volts here. Okay, that's it. Well, I realized I don't really need the uh, blocking diode for this solar panel because I have a charge controller which uh, takes care of the feature of not letting the battery drain back into the solar panel at night. So I uh, went ahead and just made the connection here, soldered it, there's the negative. The positive I still haven't soldered it yet but it's touching and I used it yesterday to charge a little bit to make sure it was working and all that and it did add some amps to the uh, current there now I've gone and picked up some lumber to uh, secure my makeshift uh, glass panel here so I picked on a smaller piece here goes alongside the glass and then I get a longer piece which goes over the glass and locks it down and then I'll just put a screw through both of them 
every so often and that'll lock it down and then on the end I'll just use another piece of this which covers the ends of uh, this unit because the glass lines up exactly with the end of the wood so I gotta uh, just put an end cap on both ends all right and that's the update. So what I'll do is paint these. I've got some leftover paint. Paint and primer in one. That's going to save some time. It is a brown color. But I don't care what color it is, really. Uh, it might match better with the uh, roof shingles being brown. So it's even, it's even a plus. And then I gotta paint the back of my piece of wood. I realized the back of this wood is not painted. So I gotta first I'll put it together, then I'll flip it over and paint the back, and then I, I'm gonna put some rubber uh, feet on the back as well to make it stand off from the uh, roof, stand off away from the shingles a bit, give it a little airspace. And that's it. That's the update. All right. I'll let you know when I'm done. So now I've painted the back of it. And uh, I just used the brown paint. It's exterior flat paint with primer mixed in, as I said earlier. And then I got these little rubber shoes, rubber feet, which I uh, comes four in a pack. And I'm I'm going to pre-drill it with this little drill bit that I've taped to predetermine depth so I don't go too deep and wreak havoc on the panels underneath. The panels are down there. And so that's about it. So the cable I got is uh, it's like yard lighting cable, low voltage, sunlight resistant, and it's uh, 14 gauge AWG, and this is really nice heavy uh, insulation. This could be put underground also, but it's sunlight resistant, good cable for outdoors. 